to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. You are the covenant-keeping God. prophetic word and you will sit down there is a man of God here you, you are a man. I don't know why God is speaking to men of God you saw our father in your dream you saw him praying for you you are a ministry you have been trusting God for breakthrough please don't tell lies this is what the Holy Spirit is revealing to me who is that person because God is about to surprise you please make sure let, let there be order please make, even if you come out how, where are you coming from you are, you are a man of God here. How about you? Can someone help me with the mic? This man or... You are in ministry, sir? Yes. Here? Where? You are in worry here? Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? Apostle Sylvester Newman, baby Limbo. Because the Lord Last is... Last night, 10 o'clock in the night, I saw Papa was praying for me. Because I'm seeing that you have been praying and saying, Lord, what you have placed upon this man, let it rest upon me and the ministry. You are in ministry here? Yeah? Yes. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Lift your hand. I want to pray for you. Oh, Father, God. even as you have revealed to him, this man, take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Sir, look at me. The seed God put in your heart to sow to the man of God. I want you as he puts that grace in your heart, I'm not, I fear God, I will not come here and tell you what God is not saying. I'm going to be teaching you, there are some things that is not just by laying on of hands. Truly, I know that people have abused a lot of things, but believe me, there is a spiritual protocol to reception. There is a way that spiritual things work. It is true that God is going to lift you, but I am praying and I'm also standing to plead for you that as God grants you grace to see our Father, he would speak directly over your life and God is going to turn your life around. But let me pray for you. Father, help this man. Take that grace. Take that grace right now. A new season. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus, every limitation that has beclouded your ministry, I release you by the power of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to shout hallelujah seven times. The word hallelujah means halal yeshua. It means to praise the Lord. It's a mystery chance that can bring down every wall of Jericho. Seven times and you will be seated. Does someone have the faith to believe what you are doing? Are you ready now? Number one. Hallelujah. And he said the shout of a king. It's in the midst of them. Number two. Hallelujah! Some of you, as, as you are shouting, certain infirmities in your body will be living. Are you ready now? Number three. Hallelujah! Who are thou mounting before the river bell? Before the river bell, thou shalt become plain. At the shout, grace, grace. Are you ready? Number four. Hallelujah. Number five. Hallelujah. The 
Bible says, and on the seventh day, they went round Jericho seven times. The priests were leading the ark. There are times you win without a sword. That sword is a double-edged sword that comes from your lips. Is someone ready to end certain cycles and certain patterns in their life? Number six. Hallelujah. Bible says when the Lord shall come the first thing we will hear is the blast of a trumpet because every time a king comes he comes with trial he said the shout of a king shall not depart it's a shout of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous when he was born he was born in silence but when it was time for him to have a triumphant entry they shouted Hosanna and they said, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Someone as you shout this final shout, is a prophetic shout into your new season. Are you ready now? Seven. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Please be seated and give me the next five to ten minutes. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Ruach Elohim. Feel this place. Ruach Elohim. blessing this is a theme of this conference and we'll be dealing along the lines of this prophetic word somebody will start running from his seat now just hold the person the power of God is coming from someone physically you stand up and start running please hold the person hold them right now God is ending delay He's taking away the spirit of delay this is a ministry of signs and wonders. Just be sensitive. Whether you are an usher or not, just be your neighbor's keeper. I'm saying it again. People will stand up like physically and start running. Just help them so they don't injure themselves. Helpless person. Speed is coming to your destiny. Speed, speed is coming. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab, even down to Jezreel. Psalm 133. What are you turning to wine? Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. There's no one like you.
know the kind of hunger and expectation you have in this church but I sense that much prayer has gone for this meeting and, and there is serious, there is a drawing and a pulling of the anointing. I want to teach but you people will not let me teach. Who is Ifai? Ifai. Your season of reward is coming. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know who you are. He, does, he works here in the ministry. Oh, you are one of the pastors. Can I pray for you? Something is going to come upon your life that will turn you around. Because I had the name Ifai. You are Ifai too. I will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that we are not weary in well-doing. It says for we will reap in due season if we faint not. Grace upon him, O God. We stretch our hands as the house of God and we declare you step into a new dimension. That which you have seen in the life of our Father, I decree and declare, let it be reproduced in your life. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for all of you too, in Jesus' name, may God help you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You work with UBA. I just saw UBA. That's United Bank UBA. Who is that person? Arande la subra kato jalikra haske belando shipra haskia. Shavra haskati If this is all I do tonight and I wrap up, will you be offended? Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Now on to the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity in the name of Jesus Job said in six things the Lord will deliver you one of it is the scorching tongues of men I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead every trouble around your unit where you are working that would demand deducting money from you to pay for in the name of Jesus we stand prophetically the house of God is a solution center and we decree in the name of Jesus it shall not stand because the Lord has not decreed it it shall not stand in the name of Jesus rather when men say there is a casting down for you and all those who are connected to this altar let it be for you that there is a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ That grace for exemption, let it come upon you. It says, and when I see the blood, I will pass. We place upon you that mark of the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sylvester. Sylvester. Who is Sylvester? Sylvester. It's like you have come out here again. I'm seeing a face that, who is Sylvester? Who is that? Ah, this man again, I thought you answered another name. Please verify so that. Uh, is he Sylvester? Huh? Okay, I, I'm sorry, don't be embarrassed. Sir. I just want to, you know, sometimes because of the abuse of the prophetic and the abuse of so many things, sometimes we are careful just because there is a mismanagement of spiritual things. No, it does not mean there are people who fear God. Are we together now? And this is one of the things that you need to understand. Unfortunately and sadly, we know that the body of Christ may have all kinds of things 
but that does not mean everybody graced by God is acting or playing games there are people who fear God hallelujah the Lord has spoken once you have heard twice that power belongs to God in the name of Jesus Christ truly God is doing something in your ministry there are things we may not be able to say in the open but in the name of Jesus the wisdom that prepares you for the next level of your kingdom assignment I stretch my hands in Jesus name I'm seeing oil coming on your head take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone for two years you have been looking for someone who is missing I don't know who that like two years and since like I don't know if it's a brother a relative or somebody you know has been missing who is that person hmm. and Samuel told Saul he says the donkey you are looking for that he has been found under a certain conditions missing things can return home not every condition but a certain spiritual condition Madam, who have you been looking for? Who is James? Brother. Who is James? My brother, my That's blood the person brother. Who has been missing. Yes, sir. Yeah. Jesus. Mm. Father, here at Word of Life. We stand upon this altar in the name of Jesus Christ that everybody who is not where they should be by the power of the prophetic we relocate them back to the place of destiny if someone agreeing with this prayer we relocate them back to the place of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ we relocate them back to the place of destiny and we decree and declare in the name of Jesus wherever they are by the power that raised Christ from the dead we release them to return home we release them to touch base with their various families let it be so in Jesus name I pray please sit down God bless you let's read Psalm 133 if that is all we do and we wrap up then we thank God for it. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 133. Yes, please. Behold, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Please stop. It says, behold. The word behold means see and conceive as a reality in your spirit. What is about to be said. When it says behold, it means use more than your eyes. To relate with what is about to be said. Behold means to see. Behold means to conceive as a reality in your spirit. It says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hold on. So people can dwell together but not in unity. Unity is more than dwelling together. The Bible says when brethren dwell together in unity next verse it is like the precious ointment upon the head so he's using an expression to relate the power of dwelling together in unity are you ready now verse 2 it is like go ahead sir it is like precious ointment upon the head upon that, the head uh -huh. that ran down upon the beard even Aaron's beard. Even Aaron's beard. That means he's teaching you something now. Remember that Aaron was a priest. So he's now introducing priesthood into the equation. That whatever it is, the administration of any blessing that will follow cannot be outside of priesthood. Even Aaron's beard. Uh -huh. That went down to the skirts of his garment. Down to the skirts of his garment. Verse 3. Verse 3. As the dew of Hermon, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing 
even life forevermore. Keep verse 3. It says, when brethren dwell together in unity, are we still here? There are two expressions he uses to help us understand what happens in the realm of the spirit. When brethren dwell together in unity. Number one, he uses priesthood. He said it is like the oil that comes upon the head of a priest. It will start from his head to his beard, but eventually get to every part connected to him. Then he says, in case you do not understand that, let me use everyday geography expression. It is also like the dew upon Hammon that descends. He says, for there, the Lord commanded the blessing. There does not mean the location. There means that spiritual state. That if you can pay the price to attain unto that spiritual state that God has commanded the blessing and he tells you that that blessing is life. Even life forevermore. That's what is commanded. When you read other versions, they will tell you the blessing which is life forevermore. Are we learning now? So, the Bible is very clear that when it has to do, in fact, every speaking of God, every speaking of God is law. Why? The Bible declares that where the word of a king is, there is power. So everything God says, indeed, is a commanded blessing. According to Genesis chapter 1 from verse 2 to 4, the Bible gives us the character of spiritual power. That you are not powerful unless and until you satisfy that litmus test as we see from verse 2 to 4. It says, and God said, verse 3, the Hebrew expression is, and Elohim said, light be and he said there was so if you must be powerful in the spirit you must have the ability to number one say number two it must be as you have said but that does not stop there that verse four says and he saw that what he said was good four tests you must say it help those under the anointing please You must say it and then it happens as you have said it and you must see that what you have said is good. Please help them. They need any, they need any medical attention or anything. I hope they don't. Are we together? You must say it and it must come to pass. So the Bible says, when brethren dwell together in unity, please look up. It says, there in that state of unity is life and even life evermore. What is life? Life does not just mean the ability to breathe in and out. Look at me. Life means every factor that allows for sustainability allows for continuity and allows for the longevity of anything is called life are we together now that means whatever needs to be in place to allow for the sustainability the longevity of anything is called life so if your business is dying whatever needs to be there for it to be sustained for it to be, be to be to remain is called life the factor that makes for sufficiency the factor that makes for sustainability the factor that makes for longevity of anything is called life and the bible says that when believers can attain a state of unity it is one of the platforms that can activate the commanded blessing hallelujah there are two examples of this graphically as we see in scripture. Number one is Genesis 11. Genesis chapter 11 from verse 1. Genesis 11. Verse 1. 
And the whole earth was one of, and the whole earth was, was of, of one language. Take note now. One communication. And of one speech. And of one speech. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. As they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shina. And dwelt and there. And they dwelt there. Next verse. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. Let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face now of hold the up earth. we're about to go to verse 5 i want to show you the power of unity watch this this is a very interesting place in scripture because in this place the holy spirit is not mentioned satan is not mentioned all that is mentioned is the unity of a people but they're about to do something that only god could stop next verse verse 5 verse 5 and the Lord came down to see the city. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, and the tower which the children of men built. Watch this. They had not started building. They only agreed that it would be built. And God already saw a building rising in the realm of the spirit. They did not, they had not started building physically. They only came into agreement that this is what we will do. But what God was seeing in the realm of the spirit was a tower rising. The Bible says God came down. Verse 6. And the Lord said, And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. So this is the factor responsible for the exploit. The people is one. Uh -huh. And they and have, have all one, one language. And this now they begin to do. Are you seeing now? They want to start it physically. But their unity has finished it in the spirit. These people were not born again. They had not met Jesus. There is no expression of them believing scripture. There is no expression of the Holy Spirit assisting them. They only came with the power of unity and said this is what we will do. And it took only God to destroy them. So imagine how many other things would have happened in your life. There are people who come to church and sit together. But number one, they do not agree with the vision. They do not connect with the grace. And they wonder why simple things do not happen. The Bible says there is a spiritual state. Unity is more than togetherness. It is agreeing in mind that when your prophet stands over you and says in Jesus name be blessed you don't sit arguing and say all oh, this no 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 one person spoke Nimrod Kush let us build they said we agree that means if word of life agrees that there are certain dimensions of exploits that must happen this year that if you agree the only force, at the time they made this statement, the, 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 the Bible does not record the Holy Spirit coming to assist them. The blessedness of redemption was not even there to support them. How much more you? Now the power of the word, the power of the prophetic, the power of the Holy Spirit. For there, the Lord had commanded the blessing, even sufficiency, even continuity all that it makes for you to stand and to last can happen in a place where you connect there's unity there do you know what that means you can come to a church like this and you can be here for many years you are together but not yet in unity and somebody can come for the first time and say i believe i, I may not know much spiritually but Lord, I know this is a man you have sent. This Aaron, as the oil comes, do you know when you stand in front of a shower to take your bath, it does not matter the part that is closest to the shower. The remaining part of the body is happy because it will eventually reach every part. Literally. 
if the hand disconnects from that structure it may not have an opportunity to have that experience unity genesis 11 let's hear god's verdict verse 6 hear what god himself the and the lord god. said and the lord said behold behold the people is one the people is one and they have all one language they have one language and this they begin to do uh-huh and now nothing will restrain from them which they have imagined to do nothing will be restrained from them who are the them the them who are united god himself is speaking that the states these people have assumed in the spirit there is no power in existence that can stop them from doing what they have imagined to do. That means when a husband and wife agree in unity that this year we will build, even if all they have in their account is 5,000, he's saying that state of unity attracts something from the realm of the spirit. Hold on. I wish I had time. Please don't miss tomorrow. I wish I had time, I would have taught you how the strong man is bound. <laughs> Listen carefully. Jesus, daddy, Jesus is casting out a devil. And they said he is using Beelzebub. Is that true? The prince of the demons. And Jesus now makes a statement. And he says, if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by who does your fathers and all your leaders cast? Then he says, any kingdom listen carefully now he he's speaking within the context of unity any kingdom divided against itself thank you for being good bible students so he's talking of unity then he says if you enter a man's house you cannot do anything to that man except you bind him so question from what you have learned how do you bind a strong man disunite what makes him powerful are you learning now watch this for as long as jesus came upon the earth and father son and, and holy spirit were in agreement there was absolutely nothing that could be done against jesus the only condition for jesus to die was that the holy ghost had to leave him that that there had to be a disruption in that tripartite structure that was why the same spirit came back to raise him from the dead listen carefully are we together so the only way you bind a man is to create something that disrupts that structure of unity in the spirit when the devil wants to attack a family what he does is he begins to use offense, begins to use whatever. The goal is that he wants to penetrate that family. But he knows that once there is unity, there is a blessing there. And the blessing is life. The life there is everything that must be at work for that family to work. So what Satan does is he starts to use all the elements of the flesh to bind their hands. When the devil wants to destroy a church, he first observes the unity structure of that church. Hear me carefully. And he now begins to orchestrate events that now bind the hands of the people. For there the Lord had commanded the blessing. When Satan wants to bind a business, what does he now do? He what satan is interested in is the unity structure so well, listen to me for as long as jesus acknowledged the authority of the father and the ministry of the holy spirit and said i and my father are one satan could come to him and could not do anything but finally satan now found an occasion where the spirit of God left him. He had to leave him. That was why Jesus cried. When Jesus says, do not take this cup off me. The cup was not death. He had been saying he would die. The cup was that for the first time, the Trinity would be disunited. When he hung on the cross, he said, Eloi, Eloi, Lamak Sabachthani. That means, my father, you've turned your face away from me. 
because at that point he had become sin. When Satan wanted to destroy the apostolic structure, the first thing he did was to start destroying the unity structure. So he came through, he came directly to Jesus and then he now manipulated Peter's compassion. Satan can use good things to kill. It doesn't always have to be evil. Are we together? So Peter now was trying to address, oh Jesus, don't talk about redemption. Then he now came through Judas. The most important thing is that he succeeded in destabilizing that unity structure. I will give you the last scripture and then we'll pray. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. <laughs> now, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, if you're a believer and you can see anything projected there, please read the remaining part. One to read. They were all one accord. Hold on. This is the definition of unity right there. One accord. Not in one place. The most important thing is the accord, not the place. They can be in the same place and not be in one accord. Men, hear me. Every noble man in word of life has an assignment this night. Go back home and restore the unity structure of your family. Because Satan, if you do not restore the unity structure between husband to his wife, husband to the children, stand as a formidable force. And the only power in existence that can stop you is God. To the point that the Bible says, if you do something against your wife and disrupts that unity structure, even your prayer. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.